No matter if you're a seasoned global explorer or some battle-scarred veteran of the skies, anytime we humans step into a metal box 35,000 feet in the air can be a truly terrifying experience. Let's not beat around the bush. Flying can be scary, but the scariest part is coming back to ground. From some of the most turbulent travel routes on the planet to landing zones that would make a Navy SEAL sweat, here's 20 dangerous plane takeoffs and landings. <laughs> London City Airport during storm. All right, buckle up and hold on to your seats for our first entry. As an Alitalia flight faces the wrath of Storm Imogen during landing at London City Airport, high winds cause the aircraft to sway violently and the pilot is forced to abort the landing, bouncing off the runway. It begs the question, how in the heck do pilots manage such nerve-wracking crosswind conditions during landing? London City Airport, known for its challenging approach over the city skyline, provides the perfect battleground for this hair-raising landing attempt. Situated in the heart of London's financial district, it serves as a vital hub for business travelers and short-haul flights. As a short runway with challenging approach paths, the airport demands precision and skill from pilots during landings. However, things got much worse during the landing attempt because the UK was also getting battered by one of the wildest storms ever. This storm, a powerful winter storm that occurred back in 2016, tested the mettle of both pilots and air traffic controllers in handling critical crosswind situations. The flight, arriving from Milan, experienced the full force of the storm's gale force winds, making the approach and landing an incredibly intense ordeal. During the incident, the pilot exhibited exceptional professionalism and skill. As the aircraft touched down and bounced off the runway, the flight crew swiftly executed a go-around taking the aircraft back into the air. Go-around procedures ensure the aircraft gains altitude and positions itself for another landing attempt. While focused, determination, and expert control, the pilots navigated through the turbulence and ultimately landed the aircraft safely. The incident emphasizes the importance of continuous training and experience for pilots to handle adverse weather conditions effectively. Pretty awesome! Bad Landing Chinese Airline Next up, join us as we witness a heart-pounding moment when an aircraft from an unnamed Chinese airline faces a bad landing. The aircraft descends toward the runway, bouncing up and down precariously. Onlookers watch in amazement as the aircraft struggles to maintain stability during the landing attempt. Pretty gnarly, right? While there's almost zero information about this event, it points toward the massive advancements in China's aviation industry and its rapid growth over the years, contributing to the rise of major airlines and a significant increase in air travel within the country and globally. China's aviation sector has experienced remarkable growth, with increasing domestic and international travel demands. Major Chinese airlines like China Airlines, China Eastern Airlines, and China Southern Airlines operate a vast network of routes connecting major cities worldwide. The aviation infrastructure in China has seen substantial investments, leading to the development of a modern airport and state-of-the-art facilities. While Chinese airlines have achieved a notable safety record, incidents like this serve as reminders of the importance of continuous training and adherence to safety protocols. Hopefully, these incidents are a thing of the past. Boeing 757 Witness a stunning approach as a Condor Boeing 757-300 battle severe storm conditions during a terrifying landing at Düsseldorf Airport. The pilot's skills are put to the test as they perform a go-around due to intense crosswinds. This airport is one of Germany's busiest, quickly becoming the arena for the captivating landing attempt and it's home to some of the most tumultuous landings in aviation. Serving as a significant hub for both domestic and international flights, the airport's location and weather patterns particularly during stormy conditions, demand precise flying skills from pilots during landings. Thankfully for the pilot in question, the Condor Boeing 757-300, a stretched version of the popular narrow-body jet, offers excellent performance capabilities for both short- and long-haul flights, and it's pretty handy in a spot of bother like a winter storm. During this incident, the pilots skillfully assessed the crosswind intensity during approach, as they initiated the landing, they encountered intense crosswinds that made maintaining the desired approach path challenging. With safety as the top priority, the pilots decided to perform a go-around, a procedure that we'll often see today. 
which involved aborting the landing and ascending back into the air to reposition for another landing attempt. This decision highlights the flight crew's ability to adapt to rapidly changing conditions and their commitment to ensuring a safe landing for passengers and crew. Good job, guys! Crosswind Landing Attempts at Seychelles International Airport Hold your breath as an Emirates plane attempts a daring landing at Seychelles International Airport amidst strong, windy conditions. Worryingly, the flight faces challenging crosswinds during the approach, already leading to two failed attempts at landing. Seychelles International Airport, a popular tourist destination, experiences these gripping moments as aviation professionals demonstrate their expertise in handling adverse weather conditions. It's a pretty common occurrence. Seychelles International Airport, located on the island of Mahi in the Seychelles Archipelago, serves as the country's primary gateway for international flights. As a popular vacation spot known for its stunning beaches and crystal clear waters, it attracts travelers from around the world. The aviation infrastructure here has been developed to accommodate growing tourism and aviation demand, and it makes for some hair-raising moments like this. During this incident, the Emirates flight crew confronted challenging crosswind conditions during the approach to Seychelles International Airport. Crosswinds create lateral forces that can affect the aircraft's alignment with the runway. To maintain control and ensure a safe landing, pilots employ advanced flying techniques. They use tools to counteract the crosswind's effect. In this situation, the flight crew conducts a thorough assessment of the weather conditions and the aircraft's performance, leading to the decision to divert to an alternate airport better safe than sorry, right? JetBlue nose gear failure in Bahamas Buckle up for a dramatic moment as a JetBlue Embraer 190 encounters a nose gear failure during landing at an airport in the Bahamas. The aircraft tilts downward and its nose scrapes along the runway, creating a nerve-wracking scene. If you were the pilot, what the heck would you do in this situation? JetBlue, a major low-cost carrier based in New York, operates a fleet of these aircraft in its regional flights, and it's known for its efficiency and comfortable cabin layout. And it plays a crucial role in JetBlue's short-haul operations. The Bahamas airports serve as popular destinations for tourists and provide vital connections for the Caribbean region. During this incident, the JetBlue flight crew promptly responded to the nose gear failure during the approach to Linden Pendling International Airport in the Bahamas with the safety of passengers and crew as their top priority, the pilots carefully managed the aircraft during the landing attempt. The nose gear's partial extension poses a unique challenge, and the flight crew skillfully touches down on the main landing gear, minimizing the impact on the nose gear. Thankfully, the airport was ready and waiting, and the timely response of emergency responders and the use of firefighting foam demonstrate the importance of preparedness and quick action during moments like this. Boeing 737 Emergency Landing All right, while this next entry technically might not be as perilous as the rest, it provides startling insight into the mechanical difficulties that some of these craft can face. Feast your eyes on this nerve-wracking incident involving a radio-controlled Boeing 737 model aircraft with a landing gear failure. Radio-controlled aircraft enthusiasts enjoy the thrill of flying scale models that closely resemble real aircraft just without any of the peril involved with soaring 35,000 feet in the sky. The model Boeing 737's intricate design, including the landing gear mechanism, aims to mimic the realism of full-scale aircraft, and although radio-controlled aircraft operate on a smaller scale, they still require skilled piloting and adherence to safety practices. Watch the tense moments as the pilot faces challenges during takeoff and landing, ultimately leading to the aircraft's nose gear detaching upon landing. In a startling moment of insight, during this incident, the skilled pilot encountered a landing gear malfunction during the takeoff and landing sequence. In a moment of panic, the aircraft's left main landing gear fails to fully retract, leading to a challenging landing attempt. That doesn't quite work out. Despite the best efforts of the pilot, the aircraft experiences a hard landing, resulting in the detachment of nose gear entirely. Fortunately, being a radio-controlled aircraft, there were no real-life passengers on board, and no one was injured in the incident. Maybe some ants, but who knows? United Airlines Boeing 777-200ER landing at Narita All right, enough of the model aircraft. We want the good stuff. Hold on tight as the United Airlines Boeing 777-200ER battles strong crosswinds during landing at Narita International Airport. 
The pilot's skills are truly put to the test as they navigate the challenging winds and stormy conditions. Narita International Airport, one of Japan's busiest airports, becomes the stage for this impressive landing maneuver, leaving onlookers stunned as the aircraft hurtled down from the sky. Narita International Airport, located in Chiba, Japan, serves as a major hub for international flights, connecting Japan to destinations worldwide. The airport's proximity to Tokyo and its importance as a travel hub have led to a significant investment in infrastructure and facilities. As you can probably tell from the footage, Narita's weather conditions, including death-defying crosswinds, demand precise flying skills and experience from pilots during landings. During this incident, the United Airlines flight crew skillfully handles the Boeing 777-200ER during approach and landing. Thankfully, its advanced flight control systems aid pilots in managing crosswind conditions and ensuring a smooth landing in the process. As the aircraft touches down, the pilots apply expert techniques, known as crabbing, to counteract the crosswind's force and maintain directional stability. This impressive landing showcases the professionalism and expertise of the flight crew and the significance of ongoing pilot training and handling challenging weather conditions. Plane flies above workers. Next up, let's experience the heart-stopping moment as maintenance workers at an airport in Paraguay narrowly avoid a landing plane that flies just a few feet above them. See, the workers conducting maintenance on the runway at Asuncion Silvio Pedrosi International Airport demonstrate calmness during this intense near miss. They look so chill, we'd be freaking out. This airport, located in Paraguay, serves as the primary gateway to the country connecting it to various international destinations. The airport's management and civil aviation authority play vital roles in ensuring safe operations and adhering to strict safety regulations. Runway maintenance is a critical aspect of airport management to maintain safe landing conditions for aircraft. Thankfully, not all is as it may seem, because during this near-miss incident, maintenance workers at the airport received timely alerts about an incoming aircraft while conducting their tasks on the runway. Guys, they were prepared all along. Whatever the case, the incident underscores the significance of constant vigilance, training, and adherence to safety guidelines for both aviation personnel and ground workers at airports. When it's your job to fix planes and runways, it's probably good practice to keep one eye on the sky at all times. Aircraft Near Miss at Tokoroa Airfield Next up, sit back as a nail-biting incident unfolds at Tokoroa Airfield in New Zealand as two manned aircraft come perilously close to each other in a single piece of airspace. Tokoroa Airfield, situated in Tokoroa, New Zealand, provides a vital aviation link for the local community and recreational aviation enthusiasts. In fact, there are entire live cams and YouTube channels dedicated to highlight some of the awesome craft that fly into this space. As you may have guessed by now, with all airfields, ensuring safety during aircraft movements and operations is of utmost importance. The Civil Aviation Authority plays a crucial role in regulating airfields and ensuring compliance with safety regulations. During this near-miss incident, concerns were raised regarding the proximity of the two manned aircraft within the same airspace. Safety is paramount in aviation, and incidents like these receive thorough investigation and analysis by the CAA. Aviation authorities may implement corrective measures, including revised procedures, increased training, or changes in airfield layout to prevent similar incidents in the future. While some people have been quick to point blame at both of the pilots in question, whatever the case, the incident underscores the significance of continuous communication and collaboration between airfield operators and aviation authorities to maintain the highest level of safety for all aircraft operations. Low Landing St. Martin Princess Juliana Airport If you've ever experienced the thrill of Maho Beach at St. Martin Princess Juliana Airport, where aircraft fly low over beachgoers during landings, you'll know just how terrifying this next entry could be. Despite warnings from the local government, tourists and aviation enthusiasts gather to witness the amazing spectacle as planes approach the runway at a scarily close altitude. Eh, maybe not. Located in the Dutch Caribbean, it serves as a major hub for international flights, connecting the island to various destinations worldwide. Famously, the airport's runway is precariously situated adjacent to Maho Beach, allowing aircraft to fly at low altitudes during approach. 
This unique geographical setup has made Maho Beach a renowned spot for aviation enthusiasts and tourists. During landings, pilots exercise precision and amazing control over the aircraft to maintain a low approach altitude while ensuring safety and compliance with aviation regulations. The experience provides beachgoers and aviation enthusiasts with the incredible opportunity to witness aircraft in close proximity, creating unforgettable memories. While the low landing thrill observers, safety measures are in place to ensure the public safety, and aviation authorities maintain strict guidelines for both pilots and spectators. As airlines and aircraft manufacturers evolve their fleets and routes, the presence of specific aircraft types, such as the Boeing 747, has reduced at St. Martin Princess Juliana Airport. Nevertheless, Maho Beach remains an iconic destination for aviation enthusiasts worldwide, drawing visitors who seek the thrill of witnessing aircraft in low-level landings against the backdrop of stunning beaches and clear blue waters. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. All right, let's pause there for a moment because while we're about to see some truly heart-stopping takeoffs and landings, this next image has some cause for concern. Have you ever seen a plane land tail first? Yeah, we're pretty sure we haven't either. But nevertheless, this image has been doing the rounds online, and it's caused quite the controversy in the process. Some have questioned what the heck this pilot was thinking, while others have been quick to claim that the image is photoshopped. Whatever the case, we're not entirely sure but we know that you'll have something to say on the matter. So, why don't you put your feet up and join us in the comment section for today's missing topic. We'll see you there. Ryanair 737 Incredibly Wobbly Landing Next up, hold on tight as Ryanair 737 faces the wrath of strong wind gusts during landing at Dublin Airport. The stable approach quickly turns into a nerve-wracking ordeal as the powerful crosswind lifts the aircraft's wing dangerously close to the runway. It's incredible. How do pilots manage such challenging crosswind conditions during landing? Dublin Airport, one of Ireland's busiest airports, is often witness to these death-defying stunts due to the incredibly powerful winds that often battle the island of Ireland. It highlights the incredible skill at display due to the specific weather conditions and aerodynamic techniques used by pilots to handle crosswind landings. Also, it really highlights how the Boeing 737-800's design plays a role in maintaining stability during critical phases of flight. Dublin Airport, located just north of Dublin city centre, serves as the primary gateway for Ireland and handles over 30 million passengers annually. Ryanair, Europe's largest low-cost carrier, operates a substantial number of flights at this airport, while also being one of the biggest social media trolls on the planet. Whatever the case, this is some pretty incredible piloting. The Boeing 737-800 is a true workhorse of the aviation industry, and it boasts advanced flight control systems that aid pilots in managing crosswind landings, making it a crucial aircraft for challenging weather conditions. Pretty perfect for Ireland. Plane loses balance, Luxembourg Airport. Prepare for a heart-stopping spectacle as a mighty Cargillux Boeing 747 prepares to touch down at Luxembourg Findel Airport. As the aircraft descends, the tension in the air is palpable. Suddenly, disaster seems imminent as the plane's engine brushes perilously close to the ground and the wing buckles under the tremendous pressure of the landing. How will the pilots manage this hair-raising engine damage situation during this critical phase of flight? The drama unfolds at Luxembourg Findel Airport, a bustling cargo hub where the stakes are high and split-seconds decisions can mean the difference between catastrophe and survival. Nestled in the heart of Europe, Luxembourg Findo Airport is a vital lifeline for the global cargo industry. Leading the charge is Cargillux, an ambitious Luxembourg-based cargo airline renowned for its fleet of Boeing 747 freighters. These colossal giants are built to carry gargantuan loads and traverse the skies with unwavering might. But when things go awry, the consequences can be catastrophic. Luxembourg Findo Airport is no stranger to the pulse-pounding rhythm of cargo operations. But this landing certainly put everyone on edge. As the dust settled, one thing quickly became clear. Safety is the heartbeat of the treacherous industry. Rigorous maintenance checks, unwavering adherence to safety protocols, and pilots forged in the fires of intense training all contribute to the harmony of aviation's deadly ballet. U.S. Air Force F-15 Prepare yourself for this next hair-raising, heart-pounding experience as we witness a United States Air Force F-15 Eagle 
fighting for its life during a major emergency landing at RAF Luckenheath, Suffolk, Great Britain. In a nail-biting moment, multiple hydraulic issues crippled the aircraft, leaving the brave pilot with no choice but to engage the last line of defense, the arister hook and capture cable on the unforgiving runway. How do fighter pilots summon their nerves of steel to navigate these perilous situations, making life or death decisions in the blink of an eye? Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Thing is, if we delve into the guts of the F-15 aircraft and uncover the intricate hydraulics that dictate its life-saving braking system, we can behold an incredible feat of engineering. Against the backdrop of RAF Luckenheath, a crucial USAF base, it's pretty common to bear witness to this kind of high-stakes landing, where every second counts and survival hangs in the balance. The F-15 Eagle, which is a true behemoth of the skies, roars with raw power, armed to the teeth and bred for air superiority missions. It stands as a bastion of the United States Air Force's might in Europe, harboring a potent arsenal of fighter and support aircraft. Fighter pilots, elite and honed to perfection, embark on a journey of unyielding training and mastery of their aircraft systems. Their mettle is often tested in the crucible of emergency situations, where split-second decisions dictate life or death. Always be prepared, right? Cessna 310 gear collapse. Hold on tight as we take you from high-flying Air Force machines to a heart-stopping incident involving a hobbyist craft. Brace yourself for this next nerve-wracking spectacle at Air Venture 2022, the world-renowned pilot festival, where a Cessna 310 is about to face a heart-stopping gear collapse during landing. With vicious crosswinds gusting up to a bone-chilling 27 knots, this aviation playground quickly became a treacherous battleground, challenging even the most seasoned of pilots at the event. The skies at Air Venture, an iconic aviation extravaganza, are no stranger to these heart-stopping incidents. But thankfully, no pilots were harmed in this heart-pounding showdown. Air Venture, an iconic pilot festival in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, stands as the grandest congregation of aviation aficionados and aircraft manufacturers on the planet. Amidst the buzzing excitement, the Cessna 310, a cherished light twin-engine aircraft, has carved its name in the Aviation Hall of Fame, proving its mettle in a myriad of roles, from private transports to reliable charter workhorses. Yet this gripping incident serves as a chilling reminder of the perils that lurk in the skies. Crosswind landings demand nerves of steel as pilots must execute precise control inputs to tame the wild winds and keep the aircraft on course, preventing any dreaded ground looping. When the stakes are high and the adrenaline pumps through their veins, these aviators rely on every ounce of skill to conquer the elements and emerge victorious. But safety is paramount in the aviation world, and incidents like these are crucial lessons that drive continuous improvement. Aviation authorities, like the vigilant Federal Aviation Administration, meticulously analyze each episode, gathering vital feedback to fine-tune safety measures during air shows and other aviation events. A330 NEO Emergency Landing Next up, discover the gripping story of a TAP Air Portugal flight to Cancun that had to return to Lisbon Airport due to a technical problem in one of the engines. Quickly, the passengers and crew had to brace themselves for the intense moments that unfolded as the pilots faced a daunting decision to return to Lisbon Airport, the bustling European gateway, for an emergency landing or risk flying onward. Thankfully, they made the correct decision without a moment's hesitation and turned back toward the airport to undertake their maneuver. As the aircraft gracefully returns to Lisbon Airport, a collective sigh of relief reverberates through the cabin. But the journey is far from over. Behind the scenes, dedicated investigators diligently pick apart the incident, piece by piece, to unravel its mysteries and enhance safety protocols for A33 NEO operations worldwide. In the world of aviation, every second counts, and it's the seamless collaboration between the flight crews and air traffic controllers that brings the aircraft back to solid ground. The heroes behind the radar screens calmly guided the flight through the complex web of airspace, providing crucial support and reassurance in the most trying times. Nose Wheel Landing Lufthansa Airbus A321 Get ready for a spectacular and scary landing as a Lufthansa Airbus A321 battles stormy conditions at Frankfurt Airport. Worryingly, the aircraft appears to touch down with its nose wheel first. Uh, is that meant to happen? 
While we're not entirely sure, this footage is truly hair-raising and it provides unique insight into the challenges that pilots often face. Frankfurt Airport, located in Germany, serves as a global hub for many international airlines. The Airbus A321, part of the highly successful A320 family, is a versatile narrow-body aircraft used for a short and medium-haul flights. Oftentimes, this place will see pilots carefully managing the aircraft's angle of attack and pitch during stormy landings to ensure a smooth and stable touchdown. Frankfurt Airport's sophisticated ground radar and advanced air traffic control systems play a crucial role in monitoring weather conditions and guiding pilots through challenging crosswinds and heavy rain. The expertise of the pilots and air traffic controllers enable the airline to maintain a strong safety record despite adverse weather conditions. Good job, guys! Difficult landing Dusseldorf Airport. But hold on there, because it seems Germany has quite a few precarious landing moments. Hold on tight as we witness more incredible footage of planes struggling to land and take off in fierce crosswinds during 2016's Storm Katy at Dusseldorf Airport. Storm Katy unleashed winds of up to 60 miles an hour, resulting in a 90-degree wind attack angle for the planes during their moments of landing. This airport is situated in Germany, and it's known for its challenging crosswind conditions due to its location and topography. Pilots use their tools to maintain lateral control during crosswind landings. The wing's lift distribution and aerodynamic surfaces help counteract the sideways forces, enabling the aircraft to maintain a straight track on approach. Crosswind landings demand precise timing and coordination between pilots, air traffic controllers, and ground support personnel. Hey, teamwork makes the dream work. Airlines closely monitor weather forecasts to manage potential flight disruptions during storms and ensure the safety and comfort of passengers and crew. And during a storm like Katie, you can bet they had their work cut out for them. Bumpy landing at Dusseldorf. Okay, we lied, because we've got even more footage from Germany's Dusseldorf airport. So fasten your seatbelts for a jaw-dropping experience as we witness a Turkish Airlines Airbus A330-300 gracefully maneuvering during similar stormy conditions. Back in 2016, flight TK1527 took on the challenging crosswinds with grit and determination, showcasing the pilot's skill in handling a quite bumpy landing. Even in the heart of winter, the Turkish Airlines pilot continued to impress us with their incredible skills behind the marvelous A330. As this magnificent aircraft approaches Dusseldorf Airport, the runway quickly comes into focus, where the Airbus A330-303 displays its striking presence head-on. Turkish Airlines, a renowned carrier, operates this powerful A330 variant, equipped with state-of-the-art features and innovations. With its elegant design and advanced aerodynamics, the Airbus A330-300 is a true marvel of modern engineering. Its wide-body fuselage and efficient engines make it a favorite among airlines worldwide for long-haul flights. The A330-303 variant, in particular, boasts exceptional range and performance capabilities, allowing airlines to serve various destinations efficiently. Passenger-made emergency landing What would you do if you were on a plane and the pilot passed out in the cockpit? Well, experience this next heart-pounding moment as a pilot passes out mid-flight, leaving a passenger to land the plane at Palm Beach International Airport. How does a passenger with no flying experience handle such a high-stakes situation? We've got no clue, but the results were amazing. Air traffic controllers played a crucial role in guiding the passenger pilot during this emergency landing. The heroic efforts of the passenger, the guidance of the air traffic controller, and the swift response of EMS teams on the runway all combine to pull off the impossible. This miraculous landing showcases the importance of quick thinking, communication, and teamwork in ensuring the safety on all on board. Palm Beach International Airport, located in West Palm Beach, Florida, is a busy commercial airport serving millions of passengers each year. The incident highlights the rare but essential unconscious pilot scenario, where an untrained individual must step up to handle the controls. Air traffic controllers play a critical role in guiding the passenger pilot through clear and concise instructions, ensuring that the aircraft remains stable during the landing approach. And incredibly, it all paid off. No one was injured in the event and countless lives were saved, including the pilots. The successful outcome is a testament to the bravery and level-headedness of the passenger pilot, 
the professionalism of air traffic controllers, and the swift response of EMS teams on the ground. Incredible! Landing with stunt. And finally, prepare for a jaw-dropping spectacle as a U.S. Air Force jet defies gravity during a trick maneuver over an aircraft carrier. While the video is CGI, it sparks curiosity about the advanced capabilities of modern fighter aircraft. What cutting-edge technologies and training enable fighter jets to perform such daring aerial maneuvers? The U.S. Air Force and Navy remain at the forefront of aviation innovation, constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the skies. Let's delve into the history of aircraft carrier-based operations, the engineering behind gravity-defying stunts, and the precision of fighter pilots in executing high-performance maneuvers. The United States Air Force and Navy are home to some of the world's most advanced fighter jets, including the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II. These aircraft are equipped with cutting-edge flight control systems, thrust vectoring technology, and advanced avionics that enable them to perform remarkable aerial feats. While the video in question is indeed CGI, it highlights the ongoing pursuit of excellence in military aviation, where constant innovation and training push the boundaries of what fighter aircraft can achieve. The U.S. Air Force and Navy's commitment to staying in the forefront of aviation technology ensures that they remain dominant forces in the sky, ready to meet any challenge that comes their way. Also, aliens? Uh, maybe. Thank mm -hmm. you.